and welcome back to the channel guys <clears throat> today we're going to talk about resistors now let's get this right i'm talking about resistors relating to alarm systems only or fire alarms it works the same kind of in the principles of things uh i am not talking about all the other resistors i am talking about these let's just get a hand on that can you say okay you won't be i don't know if you can see the color code on it but that's a 1k resistor now there's all sorts of resistors and i'm not going to go down that road um but nowadays everything comes pre-resistored and some of you guys who are just getting into it and stuff like that might not even seen a resistor relating to anything alarm system so um i thought i'm and a, uh, what you call it, apprentice with a company I'm contracting. They just gave this guy say, yeah, you can have him. So I was trying to explain to him and I thought that'd be a good video to do. So this is what we're doing it. So here comes the intro and then I'll get the uh, camera set up and we'll just talk about resistors. Don't fall asleep. Okay. <laughs> Take care. And here comes the intro. Right, and welcome back. Um, you hear some noise, do apologize, I've got family over and I've got dogs here and etc. So this is like several takes later. So basically, as you can see here, I've got a couple of 1K resistors twisted together for you. Uh, it's, it's a very quick diagram. Okay. Um, they're not the only type of resistors, so you've got these types here. Okay. This here is a Dantec resistor. Okay, let me get you. So here, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, as you can see, the browns are the 1K legs and the green is your common, which is basically, as you can see here, your 1K legs and your center one is your green or is your common. Okay, and basically, is, uh, I've used uh, blue and yellow this time. So um, here we've got uh, a signal coming down from the yellow leg, okay? And when it's a happy little system, it is, uh, it goes down here, comes across here, okay? And if it's happy, right, it's gonna go down that leg there. And because it's a normally closed system, it will go across there. Okay, the gate's closed because it's normally closed. And <clears throat> and then across the tamper circuit and back up the leg and it's in 1K. 1K is happy. Okay, now if burglar comes along and triggers the PIR, it'll come along here, catch the 1K, go down the leg, right? Oh, the gate's open now. So it's probably it has to come back up the leg cross another 1K, down this leg, cross the tamper circuit and back. Now it's seen 2K and now 2K is roughly an alarm. Well, it's not roughly, it is an alarm. Okay. And that's how, that is layman's term on how it works. Okay. Um, you know, on a door contact works the same principles. You have a roller shutter. You would have two wires for your um, your alarm and two wires for your uh, tamper, and you would more or less wire it up exactly the same. Okay, so as long as you remember, is I you like say I've used one k one k just to make life easy and try to explain. Now, if you had a like uh, the Pyronics, they have a two k two and a four k seven, so alarm would be a uh, six k eight. Okay or it's be happy on 2K2 and etc. cetera. Um, just to give you a happy uh, mead, all right? So if we, oops. So what we do is we'll put one here. Okay, and this is your common. So we'll just put this here like so. So. Oh, that's all right. So that's 1K. It comes down there, along there, down there. And because it's normally closed, it comes right across here, 
normally flows across the uh, temperature circuit and back up and you've got 1K. Okay. Now, if you get an alarm, this is broken. Okay, so it comes along here, along there. It can't go back, so it has to go across this resistor as well. Comes along here, across the tamper circuit and back. And as you can see, it's 2K. Okay, and if you break the circuit, you get nothing. And that's how a resistor works. And that's how the alarm system sees it. As long as it's happy and it sees a 1K, it's a happy system. If it's got 2K, he knows it's an alarm and triggers the alarm. So when you say, so if you pull out a PIR like here, just move this lot out over the way. So here down here, you've got your jumper resistant, uh, resistor jumpers. See if I can get that in there. There we go. Can, can you see the resistor jumps along there? Okay, and you put the jumper on to whatever resistor rating you want it. And at the top, you can see you've got your tamper, your alarm, and you've got your power, like the diagram. So, I hope that's been helpful to you. So, so look, here comes the next bit of clip, me finishing it off. Well, I hope that was helpful. Um, like I say, it's, it's a crude way of doing it. Um, trying to explain, I'm no teacher. I just wanted to help out some of the guys, newer guys, because the newer guys out there are going to come across the jumpers and they're going to just go, oh, that's easy enough, doop, 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 and that's it. And then they get called out to a job and it's all resistors and they just look at you like gone out. Like uh, the young uh, apprentice I had to play with, he, he just tried to get his head around it to start with was, you know, it's something he never does. All he needs to do is put the PIR, put the jumpers on, and as long as they're all right, he's okay. Now, like I said, there's um, different types of jumper, uh, jumpers, what I'm saying, uh, resistors. Uh, so, you know, like, as I said before, you've got 1K, 1K, and then you've got uh, 2K7, uh, 2K7, 2K2, 4K7. Uh, you usually get that on Texicoms, uh, Pyronics mainly. Uh, you've got the 5K6, 5K6, which is DSC panels. Love doing DSC panels. Did them back in the day uh, for British, uh, British Gas. They did their own alarm systems and they used uh, DSC panels. Very good panel. In fact, uh, at my old house where my daughter lives, they've got, uh, that's one of the panels I put in there. So uh now i'll fit pyronics because pyronics is my panel that you know i'm happy with that but i do a lot of contract work for all like Alsbury fire and many other companies and uh, they have like texicom or um other companies use uh, galaxy panels there's loads out there and they're all got their own type of uh resistors uh rating um you know it's you can have different ones as well i mean i use 4k7 4k7 if i really feel wicked and want to do something of a change up uh because pyronics offer you offer that kind of uh settings but mainly 1k 1k makes life easy to explain on this um video so i hope that was helpful and you understand some of it if I've done a boo-boo or you don't understand, well, leave comments below. You know, I'll be the first to be. I'd be I, honestly, I do this without thinking nowadays. I just go along and go do 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 do, and because I've done it so long. But um, that's hope that's helped for you anyway. Um, uh, as always, uh, subscribe, ring the bell, whatever it is, and. I will see you next week. God knows what we're going to do next week because I ain't even thought about it. I've still got some of those things I did mention in the last video on the DeWalt measuring. I've got the torch. That was really, really good. I must admit, I'm enjoying the torch. I've used it a couple of times, but I always forget to video it. Anyway, so don't do anything. I won't. I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.